This winter has not been an easy one on my stuff. My fence has had to be repaired in a couple spots to keep it standing. Had some pretty ugly winds this year. And my greenhouse is a pretty big mess. And the pond is still a muddy hole in the ground. You'll notice there's no RV and there's no 51 Chevy here anymore. That is because a couple weeks ago this tree dropped a bunch of pretty good sized limbs from about there down through here and you see where there's big holes missing right on top of my stuff that was sitting underneath it. The RV was a loss. We just rode it off. It was completely crushed. The neighbor's tree also dropped some limbs down on my stuff. The 51 was sitting out there also and all the sheet metal was crushed on it. As well as my shanty tent town getting pretty beat up. You can see it's pretty bent. Pretty tore up from the winds and from limbs landing on it. So, the 51 and the RV are gone. Which is good and bad. It's good because I have a whole bunch of space left on my RV pad. And I had a spot to put all my excess crap for the winter. <clears throat> so, we'll take a look at the projects that I have going on right now and it'll hopefully be finished here pretty soon you can see by my junky recycled pallets we're going to put a frame in and a couple blocks here and there and then we're going to use these as the, the lower framework because they're still solid and then we're going to run some deck boards over it once it's all level because that ends low and we put that door in. Well, I put that door in uh, here recently. So we used to just have a big bay window there. And this used to be our back door. Well, this door is going to come out because it's a steel frame sliding glass door that barely opens. And I got this vinyl one used. So that's project number one is getting this, getting this deck done. Part of that project will be digging this hole out the rest of the way to sink the hot tub in the ground. And then we'll build a, a deck around it that goes out this way more. So that's that. The greenhouse. I actually have a bunch of glass for now put away in the garage. And you can see I've got some more glass over over the edges of it and then on the back here this was from a old RV that I scrapped out but I've got some better windows to put in this area obviously there's some gaps you know for a free using recycled materials greenhouse you know you can't expect perfection and as you can see inside the greenhouse it's kind of a disaster. I haven't had a chance to really get in there and get the weeds out and get some new plastic wrap up. Got a tarp on that side, kind of keeping it as dry as we can. And then all of this chain link here to keep the dog out will get replaced with glass. So that'll be project number two will be the greenhouse getting straightened up and fixed. Project 3 is going to be a storage shed. It's going to be built on top of these pallets back here. That my dog has found something interesting in. Project 4 will be rewrapping the sides of my compost pile. And we're going to turn it, 
it's only been turned twice in five years every year what I do is I come out and I pile stuff on top of it and let it break down naturally you know, as naturally as I can and then sometimes I'll put a uh, a little bit of lime on it just to get it to break down a little bit a little bit faster that's all leaves and grass clippings and small tree clippings and mostly leaves so that's that we're going to repair the fence this next summer and we're going to put in well we're going to clear out these blackberries as much as we can because they're everywhere if you guys watch my old 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 from years ago videos of when we first bought this house before we did the back fence um You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about because the other side pretty much looks the same right now. It's just covered in blackberries. Cherry tree's doing good. Looking real bare. Obviously it's the end of December around here, so everything's died off that way. And the Japanese maple. Like I said, it's just a big mess. Everything's gotten kind of blown around and pushed around. There's my other Japanese maple. And here's my mud pit. This is project number pond. Because <laughs> it's its own whole deal. It's an ongoing project. It's been sitting about a year and a half since we had the slide out. And since the liner was punctured, just haven't had time or any extra money to buy a $900 liner to put in there. So <clears throat> the plan for this, once the rest of the water recedes, because this had about, uh, I'll have to see if I can find a clip of it and throw it in here, but this had about, I don't know, foot and a half, two foot of water in it. It was up to the ledge, basically, all the way around. The plan for this is going to be to take those those brace brace boards, plywood, whatever, off the back, re-level that, level the edge of the pond again, which isn't going to be too bad, and then uh, we're going to do some sand in the bottom. And we're going to do, uh, well, I'm hoping to do concrete in the bottom. And then we'll probably just buy another liner and drop it over that. The deck is going to get taken apart. And we're going to take all this scrap plywood that I had put on there off and put regular 2x6 decking on it. And, of course, when we do that, we'll put the bench in. That's been going to be there for five years and replace those with regular glass and then it'll be a pond again and it'll be looking real pretty that's one thing I can say that I've definitely missed is having the sound of running water and not having to look at a hole in the ground that my wife reminds me every day is a soppy mud pit but the dogs like playing in it Okay, so I'm going to come out here and take a look at what else I got. So, I'm sure you can see that that thing is crooked as hell. So we're going to fix that. We'll just have to come in and move that foot out a little bit. And this is my excess storage area. Got some tires, some excess wood, some more pallets in there. Everything's just kind of hanging out. I have a project for my big satellite dish here too. I'm going to put a pondless waterfall in the front yard. And this is going to be the water trough for it. And another scrap pallet. Some garbage. More leaves. This is my uh, scrap wood pile. Trying to keep it all dry. I get this from 
debris hauls and people donate it to me. All my used pallets there. And that's how I keep all my all my DIY stuff cheap when you don't have to buy plywood and two by fours and all that good stuff. And the grass is actually starting to grow back in. My uh, my wolf hybrid there likes to dig holes a lot. Really, really deep, really big holes. That's a little one. This one, I think he was trying to go to China. I'm not sure. So the yard's going to be the the big summer project for next year. Basically, we're going to set set our deck, set the hot tub, get all the blackberries and everything pulled back, and repair the fence. We may actually paint the fence this year because I'm just tired of looking at gray fence boards. And then we're going to uh, sorry I'm having a brain fart here. We're going to uh, till up the yard and put some soil amendments in it and then we're going to fence off part of it for the dogs to be on while the rest of it tries to get growing and be pretty again. Then so that'll be for summer. Obviously you can't do anything with that in the winter. And then the next project, I guess this would be project five or six or whatever. Project Shantytown. We're gonna take the tarps down. Except that one, we're gonna leave that one. But we're gonna take the tarps down and we're gonna put some siding across the back and in there, obviously. This is kind of a catch-all for all my stuff right now. Oh, more recycled stuff. Those are for inside the house for uh, another project we have going on in there. But, uh, yeah, this, this works for the winter time here. I mean, it, you know, the plastic on the top is good. The problem is that these are really flimsy. Because they're just these little crap steel frame. I bought this thing at Harbor Freight. It was on sale. It was missing one piece. I think I paid $50 for it. But it's been keeping the rain off my stuff this year. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to finish building the bench in there. Getting a little welding and project area. I need to clean up all my shelves and go through all my stuff again once uh, once it's not pouring rain on us all the time. And get this cleaned up. So when it's not full of junk, this is actually big enough to roll a car in here. And I've painted, let's see, I've painted two cars under this. So so that's that project. And then, like I said, the 51 was sitting here. And she's gone. Not very happy about that. <clears throat> but when it's been crushed and basically scrap metal, I think I got 500 bucks out of it for the rolling chassis. And then this is my other threw it there because I needed somewhere to throw it storage area. So this is actually a culmination of things. Those are still have to go to the still have to go to the dump with these. I went and uh, did a demo on a commercial building and there was a matching set of sinks and toilets so I took them out thinking I could resell them but nobody wanted them so off to the dump they go. That's my scrap metal bucket and this is some more junk that's still due to go to the, the dump, it's a big piano that we scrapped. And these plastic pallets here, I think I may actually keep those. And then there's some junk back there, and some junk over there. Some more junk over there. But, uh... That's a motor I'm holding on to for a friend of mine. And then these are tires that were 
in a little too nice a shape to just toss at the dump. So I'm going to hang on to those. And that's about it. I'll have another uh, another update video on the projects as they go along and that'll be it. Thanks for watching.